China may lead the next major battery development. What's up with batteries that are based on sodium? In terms of sodium-based battery EV development, China is well ahead of the rest of the world, and these batteries are beginning to challenge the widely used lithium power cells. Do you believe that switching from lithium to sodium has any effects? With this fantastic breakthrough, companies are promising a future decarbonized. Today, you'll get to know more about this innovation. Stick along with us. Research on next-generation storage cells, which are essential for both the development of electric vehicles and the use of renewable energy sources, is rising as interest in the decarbonization of society grows. Smartphones are popularized in large part due to the widespread use of lithium-ion batteries. But now lithium-ion is no more. Have you ever thought of the reason behind this? The risk of supply being impacted by international relations arises from the uneven distribution of the raw ingredient lithium in South America and other regions. Thousands of engineers, scientists, and factory workers are reshaping the future of batteries in Changsha, deep in the heart of China. The growth of cell phones and other consumer gadgets has been fueled by these batteries, the majority of which are composed of lithium. They are revolutionizing the car industry, and they may soon begin to do the same for energy-intensive solar and wind power plants that are essential to the fight against global warming. China is the leader in the manufacture and refining of chemicals. China is now putting itself in a position to lead the next major advancement in rechargeable batteries by substituting sodium, a significantly more plentiful and affordable element, for lithium. What are your thoughts on this? Sodium, which is widely available as salt and costs between 1 and 3% of lithium's price, is essentially chemically identical to lithium. The plate-like construction of the battery is 0.3 mm thick. Stacking several plates produces the desired result. One of the main benefits of lithium batteries is being undermined by the recent developments that allow sodium batteries to be recharged every day for years. Moreover, sodium batteries' energy capacity has grown. The development of this battery is becoming a race against the existing batteries. As it is said to be an updation, can we expect a benefit from this battery? Sources say that one major benefit of sodium batteries is that, unlike lithium batteries, they retain nearly all of their charge in extremely cold temperatures. This is an amazing modification for cars if they're used in electric vehicles. In interviews, battery executives from China claim to have discovered in the last year how to create sodium battery cells that are so identical to lithium ones that they can be produced using the same machinery. The world's largest producer of lithium and sodium car batteries, CATL, a Chinese conglomerate, claims that they found a method to combine the longer range and affordability of lithium cells with the low cost and weather resistance of sodium cells in a single electric car battery pack. The combined battery packs are ready to be produced in large quantities, according to the business. Benchmark Minerals, a consultancy organization, reports that 16 of the 20 sodium battery plants now planned or under construction throughout the world are located in China. China will produce around 95% of the sodium batteries used worldwide in the next two years. Benchmark projects that by then, lithium battery manufacturing will still much outpace that of sodium batteries, but improvements in sodium are happening faster. This development has already been taken into consideration. The good news is that automakers and battery manufacturers are anticipated to reveal plans for sodium batteries in at least a few subcompact cars with a limited range for the Chinese market at the Shanghai Auto Show. What do you feel about this new battery? Electric grids, or the systems of wires and towers that carry energy, present the most obvious and potential application for sodium batteries. Grid batteries are a rapidly expanding sector, particularly in China. Tesla announced plans to construct a factory in Shanghai to produce lithium batteries for utilities. For sodium batteries to hold the same electrical charge as lithium batteries, they must be larger. That is not an issue for grid storage of electricity, but it is for cars which have limited room. Utilities that move from lithium to sodium can place twice as many large batteries in a vacant area next to solar or wind-powered equipment. Large volumes of battery storage are becoming more and more in demand from utilities worldwide as they switch to more environmentally friendly sources like solar and wind power. In order to replace electricity generated by coal or gas later on, they must be able to store energy when the sun shines and the wind blows. By the middle of the 2020s, the business hopes to reach mass production. The 57-year-old general manager of research and development, Masaki Kadomi, observes, Resource scarce by concentrating our efforts on sodium ion batteries. Japan stands to gain nothing. Our goal is to become well-known in the decarbonization effort. And that's about all. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like more updated news on cars, subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.